The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 151. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of real women producing extraordinary results by finding their inner journey to self-confidence five days a week. Get your free audiobook at our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yep Chan. And today I have a special lady on today. She is a an empowerment coach for mompreneurs. And, you know, I'm just really glad to have her on and share her story about self-confidence and what she's been through and what she's been able to overcome. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Luis Edu. Luis, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Hi, Sheena. Yeah, I'm good. So uh, yes, I'm an empowerment coach for mompreneurs, mainly mompreneurs who have online service based businesses, I help guide them pretty much out of the audience and into their entrepreneurial light. I found being a mompreneur myself that we're so used to applauding everybody on stage, our family, our friends, giving them all the attention and love. And rarely do we feel comfortable being on stage ourselves and just basking in our own entrepreneurial light. So that's pretty much how I came to be an empowerment coach because I was basically my own client (laughs) in a sense. And that is where my passion lies is just to empower mompreneurs to step out of the shadows, step out of the audience and really, really harness their own um, spotlight. And that's what I do. (laughs) Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what is your cultural background? I'm Filipino and actually I'm a first generation immigrant we immigrated here um, to the U.S. when I was three years old. So yeah, so I am first generation. <laughs> Sweet. Well, thanks for sharing that. And yeah. Louise, what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? Okay, so when it comes to self-confidence, I have a design background and I, I love, love, love Coco Chanel. And her one of her quotes that resonates with me still today is, Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. And this is so important to me and something that I am teaching my girls is to really be authentic, be yourself. It's okay to be different because I feel like if you aren't and you're just following the crowd, you're not being true to yourself. I love that quote. And, you know, it's so true, right? I mean, beauty is not like, you know, physical, right? It's not Mm -hmm. just about being the physical features. And I know, you know, sometimes the media blasts that everywhere. It's like, Mm. if you're not the standard of beauty, then you're not, you're not beautiful, especially in the Philippines, right? Um, Oh, yes. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I mean, coming, coming from the Philippines as well, it's like, you know, if you're not fair skin, you're not beautiful. Mm -hmm. And like, there's so many like, you know, skin whitening, creams, tactics, surgeries, like it's insane how uh-huh. much how much of an influence that affects so many women out there, especially in the Philippines. So I totally love that, you know, this this quote says that's to start with you, which is so true, right? When you're just more yourself, like you said, your authentic self, that's when the real beauty will come out. So I really love that quote you, you mentioned. So thanks for sharing that. And um, what, how would you, in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? Oh my goodness. Self-confidence really to me is just being okay with your imperfections, embracing them, embracing your flaws, embracing your mistakes, and not allowing what others think of you um, or what you think others are saying to be put on a pedestal. Knowing that there's a lot of value and merit in what I think of myself, and that's all that matters, not what others think of me. And I think that's what self-confidence is. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I believe I believe in loving yourself, you know, with all your flaws. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially as women, it's like if we make a mistake or if we have a flaw within ourselves, we tend to self-sabotage or punish punish ourselves because, you know, we are the way we are. But really, when you embrace them, I mean, it's just so much more beautiful. You know, if you have a bad day, you have a bad day and you just let it be. And, you know, the next day it can be all over, you know, good all over again. And, Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was that way too. Like if I was mad, it's like I felt bad because I was mad at something. And it's like, well, no, you know, it's okay if I'm mad, right? I mean, yeah. it's 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 human nature. And, you know, when you can realize that and be self-aware about it, I mean, it's just you feel a lot lighter. And it's like you tend to get angry less because you're always more aware of it. So, Exactly. I think that like uh, there's this false sense of perfection that we have been brought up to try to achieve. 
but doesn't even exist. And I think that's where a lack of self-confidence comes from is because we're trying to attain that certain perfection that that is not there. And so like when you start to embrace like all your flaws and everything that you've gone through, your past mistakes, your imperfections, then you'll start to see the beauty of yourself because you don't care what <laughs> what anyone else thinks and you don't care. You see these things, all your obstacles, all your, all your mistakes and insecurities, those really you'll you'll see them as beauty rather than um something ugly. So, love it. Thanks for sharing yeah. that. Yeah. And Louise, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? Oh my goodness. My life before self-confidence, and this it was just recently actually, because I went through a lot of, I mean, I'll say it, family drama in the beginning of my marriage that really robbed me of my self-confidence. And during that time, uh, I want to say it was really dark. You know, I didn't talk as much. I wasn't vocal with what I was feeling. I wasn't as creative back then. Very insecure. And um, I'll use the word malleable because I was easily influenced by others because I was not secure in my self-confidence, not secure in who I was as a person. A lot of my flaws and my mistakes and all my imperfections, those really, really um, did a number on me. Rather than embracing them, I really took it to heart and I wasn't celebrating them as much as I should. So it was very, a very, very dark place for me. Thanks for sharing that, Louise. And you know, what yeah. was up? What was that point in your life when you realized, you know, you were great, you know, you had all these great gifts, you were able to embrace your flaws and just be more confident. What was that point in your in your life when that happened? The crazy thing is, before that family drama, I already knew that I already knew that I had all these talents, and I was great. It was that period of my life when People made me think otherwise, and it wasn't until sometime at the height of all that drama was when I finally told myself, I'm going to embrace the talents that I had prior to all this crap. <laughs> and one of my aha moments when I fully embraced all my talent and all that self-confidence again was when I saw the change in my kids. That was a huge turning point with me because I noticed my oldest daughter was starting to become that shy, reserved, less vocal little girl emulating me when I was insecure, when I was uncertain, when I was being reserved, she was emulating me. She was become a mirror, she had become a mirror of me and I didn't like it. And that's when I started, you know, really stepping into my self-confidence role and being that leader for my kids because I didn't want them to be that person. So that was my aha moment. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that, Louise. And it's, you know, yeah. it, it's really important how we teach our kids, right? Because mm -hmm. they pick up so much stuff and, you know, whatever they see can really affect them, you know, when, when they become adults, right? Mm -hmm. And some people don't realize that, right? I mean, it, you know, I'm glad you're able to see like, you know, what you were doing was affecting your children and you just had to make that change, not just for yourself, but for your kids as well. So they can grow up and be, you know, be the person that they want to be, be their authentic self and step into their own power. So, you know, it's, exactly. it's, it's great that you were able to see that. And, and after that, you know, what was your life like now? Oh my goodness. It's like a, like a huge, like 180. My, you know, I feel much more enlightened. You see it in my girls, like they seem more brighter, more happier. They're able to stand up confidently in front of their class. My daughter, my oldest daughter, who's nine, she recently told me that, um, mom, I'm, I'm fearless because you are. I don't know where she got that term fearless, or if she's just been hearing me as I'm coaching my clients. But you know, it's definitely a ripple effect. What what you do as a mother trickles down to your children. And not only that, they take it with them into their relationships with their friends and so on and so on. So it's so, so, so important to be, uh, to step into your self-confidence role, be confident and empowering so that your kids can too, because that's all that matters. <laughs> Awesome. And I, I love I love that you mentioned how your daughter said she's fearless because you are fearless. And I'm sure you know, that probably yeah. like melted your heart. And you're oh, like, my God. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a crier. So <laughs> I'm like tearing up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, I'm sure it was the greatest feeling. So thanks for sharing that. Yeah. And Louise, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, you know, she may be in a similar situation and is going through her own journey of self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? The one thing I would say to her is that self-confidence is work. And you need to constantly work on it, work on your mindset. Um, know that it's not something that can be achieved overnight, but that is the beauty of it. The journey, the self-discovery along the way, that is going to work wonders and you're going to find yourself in a whole other light. And when you're confident, when you finally get to that self-confidence, it's going to open up so many doors, not just for you, but for those around you. And I'm a living testament to that with my kids. When I stepped into my self-confidence, they did too. So you're not only working to achieve self-confidence for yourself, but for everyone around you. I love it. And you know, it's so yeah. true. It's so true. When you start working on yourself, it becomes a ripple effect and, a, and it affects, you know, people close to you or people around you. And, mm -hmm. you know, you never know who you're going to inspire or touch or, or, you know, have someone come up to you and say, you know, because of you, you, you changed my life. So it's, it's really important to work on self confidence, because it's a daily thing, right? It's like, Oh, so, yeah. Something you work on forever. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. I still do it. Yeah. I haven't stopped. I, I think it's an ongoing thing, an ongoing practice, and it only gets better every single day. So you have to constantly work at it. So true. And I love that. Thanks for sharing it. And, yeah. and Louise, if our, um, if our listeners want to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Oh, yeah. So I am on Periscope. My um, Periscope handle or screen name, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> is at Summit and Spark, S-U-M-M-I-T-A-N-D-S-P-A-R-K. Um, I'm also on Instagram as Louise Edu, L-O-U-I-S-E-E-D-U. -E -E you can find me on Facebook with the same name. And I have a, a Facebook group called Mighty Boss Moms. So if you're a boss mom, we'd love to have you there. And I'm giving away a free 11 page visibility planner. When I first started out showing up online, it was hard for me to plan out and track like my Facebook posts, my Instagram posts, and like my Periscope too. So this planner helps you do that. There's a lot of fun things in there too, um, like a page for a brain dump. So if you've got ideas and you just need to write them all out, that page is there for you too. So it's 11 pages and the link, are you going to throw this up in the show notes or anything like that? Yeah, we'll have it on our website. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be on the website. So it's a free 11 page visibility planner. You can print out as many as you want and use it to your heart's content. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that, Louise. And to our yeah. listeners, if you want to connect with Louise, you can also head on over to the TaoofSelfConfidence.com and search for Louise's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I really just want to thank Louise for taking the time to share her story and tips with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much. Yeah, I had a great time. I love talking about this stuff. <laughs> It was an honor to have you on. So thank you so much. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of another amazing woman's journey to self-confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for joining us at the Tao of Self-Confidence. Head over to the Tao of Self-Confidence.com for full recaps of every show, our amazing blog articles and resources, and just plain fun. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. So start today.